You've heard of Team Trees, and now there's Team C's, and next it'll probably be Team B's. But the government's over here like, have you heard of Team Fees? Alrighty, go get it! You go girl, yay! Are you ready? Okay, and go fetch! Go get it! Go fetch it! Go, go get it! Uh, seriously? You know, Minecraft's a great game. Amazing terrain generation, beautiful sunsets, awesome generated structures. But in all of my time playing video games, I've really never found a better friendship destroyer. When I was like seven years old and playing Minecraft for the first time, I was exploring creative mode when I found this, the creative menu. And just like anyone who plays Minecraft for the first time, I was like, hmm, I should make a house. So I did. And when it came time to put a bed in the house, because it's not a house without a bed, I grabbed one from the creative menu and tried to place it right next to a wall, and that obviously didn't work out. So I was like, huh, maybe I'm not doing something right. And being the smart independent boy that I was, I went to the creative menu and looked up bed. Lo and behold, there's a block named bedrock. I grabbed it, replaced the ground with bedrock, and voila, the bed placed. Because of that incident, I placed all the beds in all of my builds on bedrock for the next six months. Oh no, this is a sad song. I have to choose between a bunch of money or this abomination that is definitely Hero Brian. This is a song, and apparently I've never made a three block jump before. Oh no, falling is scary. Um, the stress is too much. I think I'm just gonna jump off. Goodbye, reality! If you've played Minecraft at all, you know there are some things that Steve can do that aren't exactly human. For example, he can punch out the center of a tree. Steve can also pound wheat into bread, like on a crafting table without even baking it. I mean, that's insane. But here are two things that you've probably never noticed. One, Steve can drink endless amounts of salt water without ever getting thirsty or dying. Plus, he can eat an entire apple and the whole thing. And if you didn't know, Apple seeds are actually poisonous, and he can eat an endless amount of them without dying. One day, when I was seven years old and playing Minecraft for the first time, it started to rain in-game. And this is no big deal, right? Well, to my seven-year-old brain, it was a massive deal, because at the exact same time that it started raining in-game, it had started raining outside of my actual house, too. So the seven-year-old genius in me made the obvious connection. Mom! Mom! Minecraft controls the weather! Um, Storm, that's not how the weather works. It's just a coincidence. But, but, but... And that was how my dream of Minecraft controlling the world came to an If Minecraft was Oreos, then Java Edition would be like the original Oreo flavor. Bedrock Edition would be like the gluten-free version. You know, it's not the best, but it's great for the people that need it. Then there's Minecraft Pocket Edition, which is like the Oreo Thins. I mean, it's not quite the true game experience, but you kind of get a little taste. And finally, there's Minecraft Education Edition. No, that crappy off-brand that you see at the supermarket. Did you know Steve actually has a mother? Here's how I know. Whenever Steve walks outside past his bedtime, these guys come to punish him. They're sent by his mother. And when Steve goes to bed, his mother even tells him sweet dreams. The second reason why Steve has a mother is whenever he crafts a cake, he doesn't need to bake it. He just lays all the materials out on a table and bam, there's a cake. Here's what's really happening. He's bringing the ingredients to his mother so that she can bake him a cake. And finally, the last reason why Steve has a mother is whenever you log off, he's going to school. What else did you think happened when you left the game? Here are two things you've never really noticed but will now bug you forever. Number one, have you ever been playing survival Minecraft, especially late game, 
whenever you come across this problem. You want to move your base again, but you also want to take all your anvils with you because that's a lot of iron. And they're all chipped and damaged. Now, unlike other items in Minecraft, we can't just combine them together to get a fixed anvil. It would be really, really nice, Mojang, if we could just combine them. The second thing, though it's probably the most obvious, is your own stupidity. Technoblade has cancer, and although this is terrible news, don't get me wrong, it is not without its silver lining. For you see that after hours of research, I've discovered that Technoblade has actually clicked faster than any human being has ever clicked. You heard me right, faster than any human being has ever clicked. Now, this means that when he clicked at 1,000 CPS clicks per second, 1,000 clicks per second, he caused a radioactive reaction to take place in his arm that gave him cancer. But, after he comes back from therapy for his cancer, he will be able to click faster than any human being or auto-clicker on the market. Now, I've developed an auto-clicker that should be able to show you how fast he clicks, but I'm a little nervous about using it, seeing as it might explode. But here we go. Did you see that? That was as fast as this auto-clicker can click. I guess... Well... 